a smart city is a city where information is not just available, but it's also findable, you can share it, and it's also intelligent, so people are able to use information. But that's based on uh, the way it fits with how you want to live your life. It provides you affordable housing, good quality education, economic perspective, so job opportunities, but also it should provide culture, free space, entertainment, and of course, a clean environment and safe environment to live in. If you take a look at smart cities, you break that down to, this, to the elements. Safe, clean water, take care of sanitation, help reduce energy, as well as getting people to and from work in the city. We've effectively made the city smarter. I mean, it's all a question of optimizing the resources. The world we leave to our children will be better than the world we inherited from our parents. So that's a very generous idea. It's a global idea. We think it's, it's key to the future of humanity. The Government of India, of course, has come up with a comprehensive template as to what will actually be determined as a smart park. With given the diverse landscape that India has, smart cities will be a very good platform where it can drive growth, employment and improve the quality of life. India has two different focus. One is functional infrastructure, making the city functional and using the technology to ensure citizen service delivery mechanism is complete. So India is, the smart cities is a different model, but I'll say that India will leapfrog in terms of other smart cities because of its uh, highest amount of uh, mobile users as well as the startups who are going to play our innovator roles. Location is really the heart of what we're talking about. Everything on the Earth's surface has a location, and to that location we could assign and associate uh, multi-dimensional attribute information that helps drive uh, better decisions and smarter decisions. So from a, a policy perspective, we believe that geospatial technologies uh, provide the necessary framework for collecting the data and transforming uh, observations and these collections to help facilitate software-based solutions around uh, smart city infrastructure. Smart cities or things in general, I mean by 2020 there's supposed to be over 50 billion connected devices. So all those devices are generating data and communicating up to the cloud. Data in itself really isn't interesting as a consumer. What it is is that information that's generated as well as the cloud infrastructure through the servers and then beaming that back to either the end user, the thing or the smart city, BIM, etc. So I absolutely see the geodata as well as all of things connected. Geospatial has got a fantastic space that it's now working in and that is that we can make sense of all of the different types of data which are available. And we can do that by geocoding, by using really precise addressing um, to join together 50, 60, 100 different data sets and start to look at patterns. Ranging from smart safety to smart infrastructure, smart planning and so forth. So geospatial provides uh, the underlying foundation and ultimately the fabric upon which solutions can be, can be built. And the idea of what is smart, the idea of connecting sensors with software and sort of streamlining those together with enterprise workflows around a given uh, solution. So really, Geospatial provides the core ingredients needed to help facilitate and ultimately deploy smart city solutions. Before you can actually improve on things, you've got to know where things are, what their conditions are, and how you actually, how we can monitor the improvements that have been made in those, in those elements that make up the smarter city. We as geospatial professionals have a key role in this.